guys, it's Margaret and it's time for the weekly sales update. So this is the sales for the last week. They've actually picked up quite a bit. Um, I don't know exactly why, but I'm happy about it. I think I talked on my um, show Sunday. I changed the name of the show so I can't remember. Checking in. It's like something like that. Checking in with the goals or getting on point. That's what it is. And anyway, I talked about how I had set a, my shop up to have a sale that lasted a month because I thought, you know, somebody else I know who seems fairly success successful does that, um, but I didn't think it worked for me. I usually do it for f between four and seven days, maybe two days. Um, so anyway, that sale ended and I started the new sale just for the weekend and then like boom, 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 I got a bunch of sales. So, and then someone else said, oh, well, it's the beginning of the month. That happens. So I don't know whether it was a combination or what, I don't know. So I'm not fighting it. I'm just saying, yay, sales. So, and I'm going to be back to listing this week. I have been not listing. I listed a few things. I started a new eBay account because I didn't have a second one. Then everyone, not everyone, but friends keep saying, you should really have a second one just in case. So I started the second eBay account and listed maybe eight or ten items over there. So, yeah. And I've been working on merch, so that's why I haven't been listing a ton on eBay and Etsy right now because I got tiered up a couple weeks ago to the 500 shirt design level and I'm trying to get that maxed out with all my designs so that it's just, um, you know, money, just money coming in, you know? If you're not in merch, you know, get there. Because, you know, my, my thought was, even when I was at the 25 shirt design level, and let's say I got $7 a month, you know, at the time my first payout was like 7 bucks or something. I was like, that's $7 I didn't have, you know? And then it just grows, and I'm nowhere near some of these people that are bringing in hundreds and thousands of dollars a week, but there's, you know, that that's out there. People are doing it. It's a game changer for some people. Why not me, right? That's what you got to say to yourself. Anyway, you're here for sales. Let's talk about the numbers. All right, so first thing that's sold, this is on Etsy. This is a long seed bead necklace um, that was given to me by my grandmother. I was probably in high school, so I've had it a long time. And look, I tried to get fancy with props. I don't do so good with props, uh, so I'll give that up. <laughs> so anyway, this long seed bead necklace sold uh, for $18.99. cost me zero. So after shipping and fees, my net was $17.37. Next up is this panel that I sold, this Nutcracker panel, and it makes these stand-up dudes you can put on either side. There were four of them in the panel. And I listed this back during our fabric challenge. Um, paid, oopsies, where'd it go? Buck ninety nine for that. And again, I I couldn't find it in my spreadsheet. I fell off the wagon and was not great about posting things on my spreadsheet. So I could go back and find it in the haul video because I know it's in a haul video, but I didn't. Um, I kind of guesstimated. It was about a dollar. I think it was a dollar, but I went ahead and put a buck ninety nine just to be safe. I'd rather err on the side of caution, you know, than so anyway. Sold for $24.99 and net $20.76. Next up is this tie tack. I enjoy selling tie tacks and tie bars and cufflinks and things like that. This one uh, is a Sarah Coventry tie tack. And you see it's not in great condition. It's got some scuffs with a black etching or whatever this, whatever I called that there is. That there. <laughs> okay, paid a buck for that. Come back. Sold for $14.99, so after shipping and fees, my net was $12.62. Next up, this is another ring that I've had for a really long time. Again, I think my grandmother gave it to me, I don't even remember when. Um, and I probably should have gone back and taken a better picture. It looks really hazy, you know, and I could have taken a clearer picture, but it's been up there for a while. So this cost me zero. It's sold for $18.99. And my net there was $17.11. So those are the sales on Etsy. Over here on eBay, this one just sold, and I got a really nice message from the lady. Um, she really, really wanted it. She said she had a blue one just like it, the Sugar Shaker, um, made in Czechoslovakia. And I took a best offer of $43.43 on this. Uh, so after shipping and fees, my net was $38.11. It cost me zero. It was in my grandmother's uh, sugar shaker collection. This little green frog sold. I was so tempted to keep him, because just because he's so darn cute. Okay, so 
Picked him up for a buck fifty. He sold for nine thirty-seven on sale. My net there is seven dollars and fifty-two cents. So cute, right? And then this is one of my grandmother's VHS tapes from her um, china painting. So this tape and there were two things that sold to the same lady. And this uh, porcelain cross box with the birds on it, um, trinket box, was painted by a friend of my grandmother's. Both of those items sold to the same person. So where are they? Here they are. So it ended up being $37 combined for those two things. And then I didn't get a chance to send the invoice to correct the shipping. So she ended up paying shipping on both of the items. Um, so my net was $40.28, but I did, I felt really bad because she paid like 10, over $10 more, you know, about $10 more in shipping. Um, so I ended up refunding her $9 because that was, I don't mind going over a little bit and keeping it, but I think $10 or so, $9, 10 over is a bit excessive, even for me. So, um, yeah, these, this and this sold, I took best offers on both of them. Um, just because. Okie dokie. Next up, this helicopter tie tack sold. I picked this up in a lot and ended up averaging out to be 85 cents. It sold. I took a best offer of $15 on it. And after shipping and fees, it was $12.56. Pretty good. Pretty good. And then this sold. Oh my goodness. Here's another thing. I remember very vividly buying it at an estate sale. And I remember periscoping it. And I remember having it in a haul video. But I did not put it in my spreadsheet. I put that I bought it for $5. I think it was probably less than that because 5 bucks seems like an awful lot for me to spend. But I remember when I bought it thinking, I've never seen anything like this. So it's a bell. Like here's this bell. And then this is a lighter. It was so funky weird. I just like, I had to have it. So yeah, there's the lighter. Um, very bizarre. Lighter, bell, feather. <laughs> so anyway, I put that I paid $5 for it. It may have been less, but here's the mystery. Okay, so sold for $25. I took a best offer because really I, was, I wasn't really sure what to price that it at. Now, it's sold to somebody in Vietnam, but I'm on the global shipping program, so somehow there's a workaround. So Mr. Vietnam, um, went, I don't know how I got around the you know, global shipping program, but I was just like, you know what, whatever, you know, it's not a big deal. So I said, you know, shipped it off to him. I, I could see how somebody might flip out. Oh, I'm fixing my leg. Hang on. That, oh my gosh, I only use global shipping and now this is not going global shipping. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be fine. So yeah, uh, we'll find out. <laughs> so anyway, it sold. Um, and so my net there was $18 and 81 cents. I'm pretty happy with that. And I'll let you know what happens. But he sent me a message saying, hey, make sure you package it really nicely and safely, whatever, because it's coming to Vietnam. <clears throat> okay. Okie dokie. So this Bible uh, sold. I picked this up for free from a local charity shop that gives their Bibles and religious books away. Um, so it sold on sale for $7.87. And after shipping and fees and all that, my net was $6.85. And then this uh, Maltese cross brooch sold. I picked it up for a dollar. I think it was at the local charity shop over here that I bought. Bought it for a dollar. Took a best offer of 20 on that. And that net me $17.24. And then this final sale. So I did a Sephora play box. And this one, I... I decided I would try out, because I, I wasn't like in love with anything in it, so I decided I would go ahead and and sell it and just see if I could recoup my money. But here's the thing, I forgot <laughs> that I put my shop on sale. So anyway, this um, $18.49 probably would have net me a little bit more than I did, you know, about $5 more. But when I put my shop on sale and this was included in that, I mean, somebody snapped it up like that. Uh, because I bought it for 10 bucks, this is for a play box, 10 bucks. So it sold for 13.87. So my net there was a buck 89. So I didn't really recoup a lot of my money, but it's a live and learn kind of as process. Cause I didn't even think about that. I was like, when I put the shop on sale, that that was going to be factored in, but you know, that's okay. 
That's okay. So here is the numbers. Here's the numbers. Here are the numbers. Um, I minus the nine dollars. So it was just over two hundred dollars that I made. And let's see how this is my Etsy numbers. Clunk those in over here. Some in that. So on Etsy, I made sixty-seven dollars and eighty-six cents. And on eBay, let's put them over here. <clears throat> eBay, I made. $143 minus the $9 that I sent. So $132 or something like that. $34. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so my net was $211 this week, which is really nice. And I'm hoping that this coming week is going to be even better because I will have more time to list finally. Yes. Uh, so yeah. So thanks so much for checking out the sales for the week. We had some live and learn experiences. We have some question marks coming up with that sale to Vietnam, and we will find out what happens with that. Um, yes. Okay. So stay tuned this week. I've got, oh, look, my mess. <laughs> I try to keep that covered up so you don't have to see my messy house. Um, Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a live chat with Zahir Malik. So tune in for that. It's going to be, I think... It, we said noon, one o'clock, somewhere in there. Noon lunchtime hour for me. Okay, so thanks so much for watching, you guys. Make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you have not already, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.